Yeah. Have you seen my white t-shirt? Hello again and welcome to an extremely wet Worm Wednesday. Remember I mentioned I have a cheap and nasty greenhouse that does a reasonable job in keeping the rain off the worm bin. You can see there's all the little squares are cracked or a lot of them are cracked so it, it, it's not too bad if it's a small shower but if it's incessant rain like we've had for the last few weeks it, the little greenhouse can't cope. So there's a little head of worms, fresh escapees under the cardboard we put down the other day and some fresh vermi cardboard so the cardboard is doing its job in keeping the escapees secure now th there's a lot of worms on the roof as you can see and this around the sides that's possibly to do with the rain hitting off the bin and the change in atmospheric pressure which worms are very sensitive to but you probably guessed that's th this video isn't about the worm towel I'm just having a look at it now because I'm going to use some of the worms from here in a new worm bin and you probably also sensed that there's a new worm bin experiment coming along that's just a quick look at the alleged compostable wrapper I'll do an update on this whenever there's any significant change but it's not bothering the worms as you can see they're moving making their way in and out of the of the wrapper which is good to see Now, yes, the point of this video is my daughter's with us uh, for a couple of weeks. She's had a clear out of her room. Hallelujah. And there's a couple of bags in the hallway designated for the charity shop. She's also got some old clothes that really aren't good enough for a charity shop. Now, ideally, to be really environmentally friendly with uh, clothes like this, the, the ideal thing is to repurpose them into something else. And if that's not possible, donate them to a uh, charity shop if they're in reasonably good condition. But failing that, depending on the material, you can compost them. So I've got a couple of t-shirts here that I want to show you now in a minute. And I'm going to set up a small worm bin. And I'm going to feed the t-shirt to the worms and see how they get on. This tray is actually looking very good. The worms are spread out all over it they're happy as you can tell they're quite active and lively now this most of this uh, top tray now apart from some bits of food scraps we've added uh, in the the last few weeks is um, it's mostly horse manure and that's something to keep in mind when I set up this new bin because the bulk of this new bin that I'm going to set up, this blue one here, is going to be horse manure. So the worms I take out of that tray and the sump, whatever worms are in the sump, I'm getting absolutely drenched here. Um, but the worms that I take out, they'll, um, they, they won't have a dramatic change in their bedding. They're, they're, they're coming from horse manure into horse manure, so it's not going to feel that terribly dramatic. I'm just going to put some cardboard at the bottom which will help with any escapees. I grew, I think it was peas in this uh, container last year. So it's got holes drilled at the bottom for drainage already. And all I'm going to do now is add a couple of containers of horse manure. This horse manure is, well, it's only a few weeks old, so it's not very much broken down at all. So I don't need to add anything else to this. I'm not going to be adding food scraps. You see, it comes with its own worms. Now this is, I've mentioned this before, but I'll, it's worth mentioning again. People from time to time ask, where do you buy your worms? You can, of course, buy them online. But if you have a stables anywhere near you, just go and have a poke around the piles of horse manure and you're bound to find red wrigglers in there, which will save you a lot of money. And it's also good fun going red wiggler hunting. So this is the setup. I've just squeezed that uh, container in beside the worm tower. Both are sitting on cardboard. That's the second part. So I think that's, um, I think they're 15 litres. So I think there's 30 litres of, um, that would make 30 litres of horse manure going in as a base with whatever red wigglers happen to come along with it
and now I'm just going to add the t-shirt so these are cotton t-shirts they they've obviously been bleached or dyed and I'm hoping that they're not going to cause an issue when I've cut them up before and added them into the big worm bin they've just disappeared in a few months now it's not going to be as quick in this now this will be an issue because that's some kind of rubberized slogan that's uh, been ironed onto the, that t-shirt but they are both supposed to be 100% cotton they both obviously have been coloured or dyed um, it'll be interesting to see how the worms are going to get on with that but when I like I said when I've put them in when I've thrown old clothes and jeans in the large worm bin it's never never seemed to be an issue this is just a much smaller environment so so I've got 30 litres of horse manure I'm just going to put the two t-shirts spread out like that what I'm going to do now is just add another little bit of manure this is the Dalek I keep the horse manure in until I'm ready to use it so there's about half a container there and then the rest I'm going to empty out I'm going to, have to take a look at the sump now in the uh, worm town and whatever worms are in there I'm going to add them into this mix I'll also take those worms off the roof seen as an they don't appreciate being in the worm tower. They may appreciate being part of a scientific experiment. There's no pleasing some worms, you just don't know. So that's the sump. That had manure in it. It's very wet as you can see. There's also not as many worms in there as I thought there might be, which is good. There's, there's been times when there's been a lot more worms in here. So what I'm going to have to do is take some worms from... I don't want to, Actually, I don't want to take any worms out of the worm tray because that's the only working tray that's there and I want to leave as many as I can in to um, see how they get on with the compostable wrapper. So what I'll do is I'll go up to one of the other bins at the top of the garden and take a couple of handfuls of worms. Probably want about a thousand worms in there to start off with and uh, there's probably only one or two hundred worms and most of them are not adult by the look of it so what I'll do is I'll uh, a bit later on when the rain stops I'm not going to I'm actually I'm, I'm, I'm drenched to the skin now, so <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up really uh, at some point later today or tomorrow I'm going to go up to the top of the garden and take another I'll take two or three handfuls of worms and, and add them to that and what I'll do then is we'll come back and look at this in four weeks there isn't any point in looking at it next week nothing very much is going to change so about every four weeks I'll do an update just to see how the worms are getting on composting the uh, cotton t-shirts and I've got some old denim jeans and stuff to add in there as well so basically this bin is not going to be fed anything other than what's in there now the horse manure and cotton and denim and we'll see how it gets on might be an interesting little experiment to follow okay that's it from an extremely wet London where the rain never stops as always thanks for watching Bye for now.